Hello everyone, my name is Uthers and welcome back to another episode of Timberborn here on the channel and we are going to try and make a dam because it is time. Yeah, I've been speeding up trying to recover our population from the previous, well, uh, food crisis and today we are going to expand our landscaping capabilities here. So dams, we'll go ahead and just draw one right across there. Hopefully that's within range, looks like it. Um, so the way the dam works, if you take a look at the item, is that the water level will fill up to the top of that X and then anything over will flow over. So we're going to be raising the water level almost up to here, uh, probably twice as high. Now the advantage to that is when the drought comes, right, all the water flows downstream. It just keeps flowing and flowing and flowing. And then there's no water left here because it all keeps going downstream. But by doing this, our water will actually get stuck behind the dam and we'll have a water reservoir for the next, from here, from that waterfall all the way down to here will be water still because it won't be able to keep flowing downstream um, because of that dam. So that is our big construction project on this episode it's going to take a little bit you can also put paths over the top of these you can do that if you want to link it up and use it as a bridge um, that is possible for you in fact in theory we could have been doing that instead of building these steps but these steps are pretty cheap we were doing some harvesting of trees earlier we're good to go in fact we're about close to harvesting our first set of maple trees um, which is going to really increase the amount of timber that we have. Um, okay, so we have one unemployed beaver. So that means we can turn these back on. We can get the irrigation tower back to being constructed soon. So we're going to start churning out some planks here because this tower is going to need 20 planks. So we're just gonna turn on the lumber mill for those 20 planks. And in the meantime, each one of these dam pieces takes 20 logs. So 20, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So that's 160 logs is going to get dumped into this river to try and dam it up. And we will need every ounce of log possible for sure into our wonderful little beaver dam. So we're up to three farm buildings, uh, fully staffed. So hopefully that'll keep up with the um, kind of growing planting season as we get through there. Um, it turns out these are too far away from our district center. So you can see our district kind of ends here. and We can't actually facilitate that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be moving these down to there. Boop, 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 boop. And that will actually at least throw them, I think, I don't know for sure. I think that'll throw those into our current district somehow through the power of magic, maybe. Um, and it might count or it might not. It might be more based on path. I think it might be more based on path. I put like gather, gather, gatherer here, and then do building demolish. Something like that. These gatherers should be able to fit. Okay, that'll be good. And we'll allow for one lumberjack to come out here to get these trees going. You can see our first dam block is placed with a path on it. And okay, there we go, our second hauling beaver to move materials around for us. We have almost 20 planks. Once we get up to 20, we will pause this. Okay, get these beavers off that. 
Finish off the irrigation tower. So that that can be constructed. And we really want to deposit that lumber mill so that, you know, our trees... Oh, look at those maples. Eight logs each. Oh, boy. All right, look at that. We have some greenery coming out this way towards the town now. And with that, we can go ahead and plant trees and bushes. So plant some trees. Back in through here. Just start all with maples. And we'll go through and clean that up with a uh, pine. Now, none of these are going to be birch trees. I want all this to be maple and pine. Because I think we already have a good rotation of trees at the other location. With the amount of pines that we do have over there. So, that'll just be more long-term growth. While, you know, we're still getting trees on this side, too. That'll be good. Um, let's do... Is it a two by two? Yeah. I do want another forester to be able to keep up with the tree planting. Yeah, we will need another forester. All right. So we are irrigating the back space now. Gonna allow lumberjacks to come down here and harvest trees more. Gonna allow lumberjacks to come up here. Keep working. Get all of those. We have our second dam constructed. Working on the number three. And our builders are using the logs that are getting stored here for kind of quick access, which is pretty nice. That we do have some logs being stored down on that side. So we have three days for this dam to get completed. Um, we're gonna bump up how many standard workers we have to four. So the logs can get delivered twice as fast. So three days to get this reservoir built up before the dry season. Super important that we accomplish that because this irrigation tank is going to take up a lot of water to run. And we just, I mean, I can pause it maybe during the dry season so that we don't really worry about irrigating up here and just let the water irrigate down here, potentially. Okay, so half a day passed. Do builders um, get additional workload? Nope. I guess they can carry only one log at a time. It's uh, not great for us, but not awful either. Okay, two days. Two days till the next drought. Two days. Good. Keep harvesting those carrots. My beaver friends. Get our food supply up. 
We got plenty of timber to use. At least there's that. Now what's kind of cool is we're, we're creating kind of a slow spot in the river right here. And it's speeding up through here. So I wonder if you could do that with the water wheel. You know, um, pinch the river, make it thin, and then have a water wheel here for fast, constant water movement. And then the water wheel heel, I, I don't think would work very well. one day away I don't think okay we're gonna we're gonna make this a 24 hour day work day so I, I need these beavers to get this thing constructed all right pause those Half a day away. So there's 19. Look at the look at the beaver swim with that log. I like that. I don't think we're gonna make it, honestly. No, the drought is here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I know you guys are hungry. I get it. You're also probably sleepy too, right? No, actually they can manage that. Drought has started. We didn't, we didn't get it. We didn't get it. That's a shame. The river is drying up. Though it might be drying up slower. Ugh. Ugh. Boy, we're gonna have almost four days of drought. That's not good. We can play that. Guess we can use some logs for the next lumber mill construction. Well, let's, in this drought, since we actually have a fair amount of trees, a fair amount of trees, we will go ahead and we have food, we have water. We actually might be okay here. Let's talk about upgrading our residential blocks. I think that'll be a good goal for us. So to do that, I have 626 research between the episodes that I managed to gather. Um, what we're going to do is go to pathways. We're gonna need a um, platform. Maybe even a double platform might be more efficient. Actually, no, a double platform is like a too tall. Huh, did not know that. Um, <clears throat> okay. So we're going to be building some platforms here. Also, let's unlock the skinny house. Because I want to be able to fill this all in with housing. Just like that. Okay, and now we get the platforms down. So we're going to raise up. We're gonna go up to another level of the Beaver Lodge, the Great Beaver Lodge. Um, fire pit is ground only. It's kind of interesting. Put one over here. Um, and what I want to do is have some rooftop terraces. 
think here and here, long term. So we can kind of get this looking fancy. Let's also make a platform there. Should be okay. And then maybe do another rooftop terrace. Just like that. Then we get a house on top of it. The corners here. dramatically increasing our housing now. I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea. Probably a bad idea, <laughs> if I had to guess. Right? Gonna need paths running along the edge, across the middle here. Okay. Now, some of those. To get up. Hmm. I don't want just the entrance on the one side. That's bad design. In theory, I could do that. I don't know what that'll do in terms of them actually getting up there. How are they doing on food? They're doing fine on food. We're doing fine on water. Boy, is that going to be an upgrade to the town. We're essentially going to be doubling our population. Long term by doing this. Okay, the dam is done. So we have the dam made. Um, long term, we need a second dam. Eventually I want to move it down to here. That'll increase our water reservoir by like 50%. Or I, actually even like maybe 100% by doing that. Which would be good for us. I can just get some staircases down to here. And like that. I'm gonna prioritize this second dam. think so I'll make it out this way what if we can get all the way out here for this okay good to there should I do stair ledge stair if I can do that get a staircase up here do that okay so it's out of range from our builders hut could maybe get a builders hut for a hundred research to expand our ability to construct maybe out this way And then we do landscaping, we build a dam. Put 
a path on the top. We should be okay. Should function, not sure, but I guess we'll find out. So have a decent amount of food, uh, water, we're at half capacity of our previous water supply. Which means I'm going to go ahead and pause the irrigation tower. It's going to use the rest of the water that it has. Um, and then it will become dry land, but that's okay because those are trees. And they will survive just fine because of that. What I would like to do too, if we can build a dam here. If we can get another one down here, that'd be good because we can get this as an additional levy. I mean, no matter what, we need the dam here, anyways. But if I can get another one. straight across like that. I mean, just that would be useful. I think I can do that. It's okay. Look at all the lumber that we have. Awesome. Construct my beaver friends. Construct. We're out of water. Oops. I might need some large water tanks. I can research this for 120. First things first, we're gonna have to get a gear workshop though. I get a double gear workshop there and then power wise do like windmill windmill no 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 let's do windmill in the corner windmill there That would be better. All right, now we're getting into some mechanization. That'll help us out a good amount. All right, we're out of water, but that's okay because the drought has ended. Look at that, water is back. And see how much the dam is holding it back here? So the next drought, we will get water up to about this level We'll start going over like come on almost there there we go awesome so that raised up the water level on this side which is something that needed to be done in there. I wonder if I could... I probably could, but it's probably not worth doing. Yeah, I think that's fine for a little industrial area. I'm fine with that. I'm just managing one district for now. I could start branching out to other districts and like other towns, 
but I think managing one large district might be a little bit easier initially here. Get some more carriers for the workshop. Um, we need some better storage for sure. Long term. Um, and with that, let's get some decoration. If I do roof tile roof tile give it those which might look okay science points for that three by two which we could put in here in the middle which would look pretty cool then we got a two by three I think I'm fine we're just doing that for a warehouse type areas Gonna start cranking out planks now. Go back down to two construction beavers. Oh, I need to turn our irrigation back on. There it goes. those two shift some workers around a little bit all right do I have enough for this decoration now Think so check that out that's a, that's a warehouse right there, if I ever did see one. Looks pretty good. Loop. Turn that on. We're going to expand the farms out this way. I think we're going to do all potatoes out here. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and get a irrigation tower out here also a couple new barrels we're gonna get a two new farm homes and then we're going to plant crops it's gonna be all potatoes out through here because of that we will need a grill to cook our potatoes which we can do right there. This whole upper area is looking pretty industrial now. Okay. And field wise, let's clear this as a planting area. I'm gonna get rid of this that going to destroy these resources so we need it for farmland space Construction's underway to get out to there for the dam upgrade. 
which once we get that, I will just essentially break a hole in the dam here. I know it's super, re like, kind of dumb to build a dam and then build a dam right afterwards. Um, this one was just cheaper to get to and um, just more straightforward to make. So now we can dedicate some time for something a little bit more complex and just a little bit better than what we were going to get anyways. This one down here, we'll put two water pumps at as well. So we'll get a, an extended reservoir down to there. And if we get super lucky, I get another dam down here. To just trap the whole river, um, basically. You could, in theory, knock this out with dynamite eventually and fill this up with water. It'd be possible. Or maybe wall it off here completely and force it down this way and fill it up to the same height. Not sure how creative we can really get, but uh, we'll definitely get there. All right, I need I need more planks. Absolutely need more planks constructed to speed this up a little bit. Good, we got two beavers planting. Still a decent amount of logs, 160 right now, even with all the ones that we're dumping into this dam down here. Uh, let's max that out. I think destroying this is a big priority here. Um, I'll go ahead and get some of the potatoes planted though. Or at least marked out where they're going. range. There it goes. Four, two, right? Something like that. Potato, potato, potato. Yep, that'll hit every spot. Really turning this central area to a good hub. And then we will use this to be successful and stand alone to then migrate out to other areas. I think that's the plan at the moment. If this thing can, can support its upper story, and survive without me having to intervene pretty much at all, I would consider that a success. Let's go water pump, water pump. Path. Some bulk water storage down there in case we need it. And I did want to research the large water tank. How big is that? So it is the equivalent of three tanks, but 10 times the 
resource or 10 times the capacity that's pretty that's a pretty big increase right there so like for example we could in theory pop these off they're not even full anyways they're not even being used and we could pop that there boom and we've essentially just put down the equivalent of 10 barrels boom That'll allow me to pump more water from this lower area. As much as possible. Right, these upper homes are getting constructed in the upper pathways. That's what I need to see. Great progress. All right, so tell you what, guys, we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Um, I'm going to continue building, expand out kind of what all we've laid out, and we'll see if we can keep surviving the droughts as they come. We'll see if we can't produce all the resources we need to make this a very successful beaver experience. So with that, feel free to subscribe for more creative videos such as this. Hit that like button. Leave a comment down below on how your beaver tin is doing, and we'll talk to you guys real, real soon.